Hey folks, Jason here from Westside Stores. We're out here doing a little family cruise today and we've got into some amazing moose country. So we're gonna do a couple little videos. This is gonna be part one and then we're gonna do part two and we'll release that as well. Um, on this one, we're gonna talk about moose calling. We're gonna call, you know, as though we're hunting for any size bull. So anybody with an LEH that's got a bull draw and we're after a, a meat bull, it could be a two point or, or up to a big trophy bull. We're gonna talk about how to call them in. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Okay, so we're out here, we're in, in some gorgeous moose country. We've got these spruce trees all around. I mean, any of us diehard moose guys, I mean, you can smell this country. You just know that they live here. Um, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about calling in a bull. Now, you can buy commercial calls or you can build your own. And here's one that I built several years ago. I mean, this goes back to when I was guiding for them. And, and you can see it's a little worse for wear. I mean, she's had some miles and some hours put on it and it's called in a lot of bulls for us. Um, what we do with this is it really helps us broadcast our voice. I mean, a moose is a very big animal. They're very vocal, very loud. So we as humans, I mean, we can't get anywhere near that. So that's what this does. It helps us really throw our voices and, and, uh, and broadcast that call. You'll notice broadcasting downwind, that call will sound a lot louder than if you try and broadcast upwind. That wind and that breeze actually kills a lot of that call. So, I mean, not much we can do about that. Most days you wanna, you wanna hunt upwind anyway, but Anyways, that's what this comes in handy for. Um, when, I, when I was guiding, if we're looking for just any size bull or on a family trip and we want any size bull, I really stayed away from bull noises. Um, we, we did a lot of cow calls, cow call, cow call, cow call. Because then you can pull in, I mean, you know, family trips, we'd everything from three points come in to, to you know, 50 inch bulls, 60 inch bulls. So if you do that, you can up your success. If so you get into the bull calls and start raking and grunting and getting real loud and vocal and, and tough, you can shy off a lot of those young bulls that, that you might be looking to fill a tag on. So um, what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a couple of quick calls here. We can do it with our hands. So there's a way to, there's a way to just call where, where you just use your hands. You, you block your nose, your nasal, and make it very, very nasally. A lot of those, a lot of those cows are, are quite nasal. They really moan a lot, but they all sound different. So there's no right, there's no wrong. Um, same with the amount of calls you do. I like to do a set of calls and kind of wait 15, 20 minutes, half an hour. Give them some time. Those moose hear you and they know exactly where you are. They can pin you within feet. So you don't have to stay on him. If you've got a bull talking to you, the best thing to do is go radio silent on him. Let him come find you. The more you talk to him, he's got you pinned. And, and that just, then if something's not right with your call, the more you talk to him, the more you give him that chance to figure that out. So if he starts talking, he starts coming to you, just be quiet, let him do his thing, let him keep talking. If he moves away, you might have to move and talk to him again. But if, if you've got him on a string, just wait, just let him come and set the hook and let them keep coming. So first off, cow call, block your nasal. And like that, and they kind of they really whine a little bit. There's a bit of a moan to it and the tone changes a lot of the times. And at the end you'll hear an oh afterwards. Like they, they'll finish off with some kind of oh, right? So, so just practice that a little bit. Um, I like to do a couple of longs, a couple shorts. I mean, in the wild, you'll hear cows, you can hear them ball once, or you can hear them go for five minutes, 10 minutes. They'll just sit and they'll ball and ball and ball. So there's no real right or wrong on that one as well. But like I say, I like to do a couple long, a short, or a couple long, a couple short, and then just, just sit and listen, because they can hear you, they know you're there. If they're anywhere around, if they're interested, they'll start coming. And sometimes they can come very quiet and all of a sudden they'll start talking the tree line or you can hear them way off. They sound like a little wee frog, like a tree frog and it'll get louder and louder and louder. Man, it's pretty exciting. So I'm gonna grab the call here and I'll do one call with this and we'll broadcast that. So 
it just echoes across the hill and, and we're kind of on a ridge so it goes right down the valley and I mean any of these animals that are around here and hear that if they're interested I mean we're October 7th here today these guys are still rotten you'll pull them in so anyways that's it that's calling any size bull um, follow us here at westsidestores.ca on online and follow our YouTube channel and uh, thanks for watching